Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. The Night Gods are moving forward now, pushing into where the main airstrips are, hoping to eliminate as many Reaper forces there, secure the airfields, to allow for a free flowing of supply again. Alright, here we go on the edge of the airfields now. This is just a three and a half skull mission, so uh, we're just going to move up. Three and a half skulls. This should be okay. I didn't bring everybody. We've got seven mechs in a vehicle, but should be more than plenty enough to take these guys on. Plus, I'm interested to see how well we operate here um, in a uh, hot environment. So let's just move up. Especially the Vulture. That's really what I want to check out here. All right, we got contact already. Coordinates received. So the Storm Crow is not finished. Uh, being rebuilt yet it is still um, it's just kind of come out of um, of uh, let's get right into here Roger that. it's come out of, come out of repair so we're ready to reload it or load it out which I'll probably do before the next mission looks like we got some fairly size half decent size units here so what do we got up here in Orion yeah Archer Griffin Firestarter. Okay, well, I mean, we'll should have no problem taking these guys down. I don't think they have reinforcements because I ran my uh, thing along here to see if I could drop up there, and it said yeah. So it's probably just this one lance. So if it ends Heavy up being block. quick, we can probably take another mission too. Um. Yeah, let's just get right on these guys. On the move, full speed. Who is going to be the threat? It's a lot of energy on this guy. 4M. Griffin. Seventy-three. Eighty-three. Let's go on this guy. We're going to throw up some standard ammo. Going to ward it though. Front load some damage, not you. There we go. Engaging with target. Looks like he's got some damage reduction. So that'll be interesting. Alrighty. I'm your spaniel. So I hired another pilot too. Um, let's go right here. We'll shoot the front of him. Oh, Trying to make him unstable. I hired another pilot. Um, got her. Uh, got her in the uh, barracks right now. We just want to make sure we've got, like, after we lost um, uh, Raider in the offline play for the uh, Dragons Rejects. I just want to make sure we've got just you know extra couple of pilots here or there just in case I want to start getting some experience on them too so as long as they're sitting in the mech bay and we've got our uh, um, training module up you know we'll they'll at least gain experience just sitting there and then I can bring them on you know on the uh, Ready for the low skull milk runs get them a little bit more experience um, Yeah, you don't have the range for that, do you? Let's get into here. Understood. Moving fast. And we might as well Actually, let's hold off on the sensor lock. Sixty-three. Yeah, you're out of range. Uh let's go after the fire starter. Sure. A good start. Strip some armor off. This one's going to be quick, I think. I think this one's going to end up being pretty quick. It's getting hard to judge now what I should be taking on what missions. Because there's times when it's like... Um, you think it's like a low-skull mission. You think there's going to be nobody there. You take the mission, and then it's just like full of nightmare fuel and then there's other times you take the high-end missions and you think it's going to be bad and, and there's like like nobody 
So it's yeah, it's kind of strange. I'm trying to figure out the balance now. I don't know. I don't know why it's so varied. See ya. Mech destroyed. What can I do for you? On my way. So I'm wondering if I'm just gonna have to start taking missions against the like fully against clans now. I don't know. Because they seem to be the ones that are the, like much more difficult. I don't know whether it's just because the mechs are more difficult or there ends up being more units or what it is, but definitely the clans are the more difficult ones, that's for sure. Oh, you got a pair of PPCs. They're not heavy PPCs though. Look like light order. PPCs to me. This might be the last mission for this particular kit, Fox. I think the Storm Crow is going to be replacing it. I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to leave it in the mech bays. I'm managing to um, Copy that. handle the C C bill output every month. It's a fair bit we're paying out every month now. It's like almost 1,600 or 1 1.6 million every month. So yeah, 1,600,000. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes. sense. <laughs> if that makes any sense, 1.6 million per month, which is weird because we're, I mean, I know we got clan mechs and stuff and it's, the technology is like higher priced, but if you look at the dragon's rejects, the mechs that they have, they're, they far outclass us in weight and yet they're paying only like 1.25, I think, or 1.3 million per month, so they're paying less. Orders. Uh... Let's go visit this Orion. Hello, Mr. Orion. Hello. Yeah, I still don't know what you got. I know what you got, though. Got a face full of HE. Oof. That's like one third the damage. Good to go. What has that guy got on it? It's reducing the damage so well. Oh, you know what? He might have that armor that reduces the uh, kinetic damage. Increases energy damage, but reduces kinetic. That's why our large laser did 44. Yeah, it's probably what it is. Oof, this is a pretty good shot here. Do we keep going after this guy? I think I want parts off this guy, so let's go and murder these other guys first. Commander. And we're going to target the legs on the uh, Orion, I think. Going to walk it over here. Go after this guy. Uh, and let's just try and delete him. Try and get it earlier. Don't know if that's going to help at all. On. Nope. Didn't help. That's fine. Firing. Confirm. Beautiful start. I'm out of SRM. That's all right. That's all right. Shoot the vehicle. Nope. You ain't got the juice, buddy. Damage on that hit. I'm ready. You ain't got the juice. You moved to a good spot, though. Oh, wait. Oh. oh. Now we're not going after you yet. We gotta get these guys. Gotta get these guys first. So let's move over here. Stay on target. I'm breaking up, but stay on target. Get this guy. Yeah, I think we should be able to pinpoint that Orion's legs. We should have enough resolve by then to do it. 
Like once these two guys are down. We'll, next two turns. This guy will go this turn. And then the archer will go next turn. And we'll pull the, pull the legs off the Orion. Damage minimal. We'll make a, a faux oh, yeah. Orion 2C. We'll just pretend it's an Orion 2C. Not right away though. We got too many clam X we gotta put together first. Alright, put these guys on. Rockets. No short range missiles remaining. And that's alright. You don't need any short range missiles. God, this thing is so slow. It heats up pretty quick too. Especially when you're firing everything. All right, we don't need this. Uh, we'll go with... Okay, get the most damage on this guy as we possibly can. We're okay with control burst. We'll use that on the Orion, I think. God, the missile volley with this thing. So nice. Have a seat, buddy. Have a seat. Ah, I love this vulture. I don't think it's quite outfitted properly yet, but it's still pretty nice. The Vulture in the other playthrough, in the Dragon's Rejects, is really, really nice. With the pair of Vulture 5s and the two ER Larges. Barely hit, Commander. That guy's gonna heat up real fast. Commander? Okay, walk it up here. Going after this guy. Go for the leg. Because why not? Whoops. Enemy eliminated. I, I said leg. Leg. What part of leg did you just not understand? Going turbo. Alright, let's start on the uh on this guy here. That's gonna put us a little over. Let's go this route. This guy we gotta work on the heat with, that's for sure. I wonder if we um, pull off the ER large go. and go with some heavier mediums or something. Moving to position. He doesn't really have the speed though, like he can't get in close. I don't know, I don't know what to do with it. We're doing almost no damage, but we might as well start shooting for the leg, I guess. Got something you want done? I do. Locking in coordinates. Get on this guy. Still okay for heat? Yep. Miss with the tag, damn it. We almost never miss with the tag, and this time we did. Yes, Commander. Let's move. Let's move. that help? Not really. Alright, we can afford to go this route, I think. We'll save the PPC for the uh, Orion anyway. Let's heat him up. Eh. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. Let's just shoot this guy. I don't want parts from him anyway. Warlord. Enjoy. Wow, nice. Yeah, I'm loving the loadout in this guy too. You know? It's this is almost the same as the Vulture in the other on the other playthrough, damage wise. Ooh, somebody's got a rack. Not much armor left in that location. He's unloading with the rack. What can I do for you? We gotta kill this other guy here now. You betcha. I forgot to oh I forgot to turn that on overload. That's my bad. Um Going this route, save our heat for the Orion. Enough 
Another hit like that, and you're toast. A hit like that, and he's on his oh, ass. SRMs, Commander. I'm not sprinting on this one. I'm just walking for two reasons. One, I want to keep my heat down. And two, I want to keep my stability. Roger that. Ooh, see ya. You can pick your core up in the middle of next week. One less target. That was a nice shot. I await your command. Alright, I wish we had, uh... I wish you had, um... Infernos, but we don't, so let's just work on stability on this guy. I don't think it's going to matter. Going to drop his heat. Uh, I'll throw the tandems in for now, too. Oh, we got a little bit of heat. Alright. Not much in stability. I'm out of short-range missiles. Got the vulture now, though. Lining straight up on this guy. Um, I got to get closer. Mono a Oriano. It's not going to really be mono, but let's go this route. Let's go this route. Let's go after this leg. PPC. Go improve. Narc. Okay. And yep. Damn, that was a CT hit. Enjoying the stability loss there, buddy? Yeah, it was. Shit. Commander. Did not want that, but whatever. Alright, we're just gonna plink plink this guy in the back just to add some more instability. Targeting because I do not want to um He's using the incendiaries on him. Get over here. On the move. I don't want to shoot him in the front and potentially hit his CT with those ro with those uh, ATMs. So apply the damage to the back. Let's just go with missiles. Uh, what's the chance to hit here? 83? Yeah, let's go for some instability and some heat. Taking the shot. Okay. I'm here. Let's go with some accurate DAC on this if we can. This one's going after the leg again. Ah, fuck you. At least we got the knockdown. He resisted the injury, okay. Yes, Commander. Alright, let's keep on the leg. He's gonna die by CT, but we gotta try. Okay, he's not gonna bail out, is he? Location confirmed. I was wish he would bail out. He's barely got anything in the CT left. Roger that. That was a lot of CT hits. Yeah, damn it. One more for the kill. All right, let's see if we can do something else. Mission successful. All right, so continuing on towards the airfield, zzz, we need to take these last couple bases here. Uh, we got a landing zone for a dropship here. Uh, what else we got around here? I don't know. Some other stuff up here. We got to take these bases here. So, before we can move back into the city, we gotta take these guys, and I think we are okay here. Hoping we didn't run into, uh... We don't run into an issue where one of our guys is stuck. I'm I didn't get to choose my drop spot here, so... And we're only allowed, this is a, uh, two and a half skull, um... On the way. Uh, blackout mission. So we're only allowed six mechs, so we brought the six primary mechs that we always use. Uh, just to see how we do here. And it's against Steel Vipers, so hopefully um, we're going to pick up some good uh, good stuff off this. Acknowledged. Confirmed. Moving out. Onward. Aye, aye. All right, keep moving up.
Waiting for the damn vulture to catch up. All right, but I'm ready to go. I know you're ready to go. We gotta wait for the vulture. We're only as fast as our uh, slowest mech here. All right, so this is the this blade. Get up over here. I'm gonna bring you into here. Don't know whether we're gonna get a drop. You betcha. Like an enemy drop, or if it, the turrets are gonna you. turn against us, I don't know yet. Moving to position. All right. Bring the vulture in here. Let's set you up. If it's a drop, a mech is going to drop in here, but there's not much I can do about that. Set you up there. Set you up here. Well, Cougar's got the AMS Mark II. Let's bring you into here. And we'll find out here in a second. Uh, it's a drop. Full on assault, Commander. Contacts are engaging. Got some kind of turret defenses. All right. So it looks like we got some guys on our side. What do we got here? Toadies. Fuck. They're right on top of us, too. Um... Ice Ferret, Toadies, Kintaro, and a Lynx. That's not good. Uh, let's move over here to get the Toadies on this side first. And hope we get initiative. And we do. Toadie's going on 17. Who's up? Blade. Waiting of course Blade's orders. up. When is Blade never up? First. Not a good chance to hit there. But it is a free back shot. That. Let's pull in here. Let's just see what our chance on this guy is first though. Not that great. They got some immunity to start here too, so we need to get away from those toadies. Uh, nope. Yep, firing. That's right. I'm on All right, it's got AMS. I think I hit something good. Got tag on them. Beautiful. They will be done. We could try for back strikes on these toadies. I think we do that. Double time. Let's go. I think we're far enough away here too. Let's hope we are. Warlord, get right on this guy. Got to get him killed. So. Okay, he's going after the turret. Good for us. What's up, boss? Get up over here. Stay the hell away from the toady, that's all I gotta say. I'm gonna put the rockets on. Well, what's he down to here? Uh, yeah, let's go with the rockets. He's got some evasion, so let's get some of it gone. And fire everything. That should do it. Nice. Good night. Good. I'm out of SRM. SI, you did your job, buddy. You did your job. That guy over there hasn't moved yet. Who's moved? These toadies. I can't give them first shot though. Let's pull over here. Take a pot shot at this guy. Uh, I'm gonna leave Warlord till next turn. Because this won't be a kill shot anyway. There's no point in hammering him hard. What can I do for you? Where are you? Right there, eh? 
Same idea. Back up over here, though. Shoot this guy. Uh, let's leave the medium off. Ah. Not going to be much of a base left here. Skintaro is going to run really hot. The Lynx, though. ERPPC large laser. That's pretty good loadout. No back armor to speak of. Okay, he's going after the turret. That's all right. Probably because they got a really good chance to hit against the turrets. Yeah, fire everything, baby. Fire it all. Oh, he dropped his heat, so he's got a proto double heat sink hit in there, probably. We should be able to make him nice and toasty here in a second. I'm just going to push the vulture on him. Ooh, Lynx is backing up. Yep, going for the turret. Okay. That's alright. Doesn't bother me any. So, I want your guys' opinion for a second, because I, I, I was iffy about taking this. There, there's a four skull mission that popped up right after the last one that's against uh, the word of Blake. It's a four, it's four skull, and my concern was the salvage. Like I, like you know, when you're taking a mission and the salvage is really really low, generally the mission is really hard. So it's four skulls against the word of word of Blake with two eleven salvage. So I'm like I was thinking about taking it, and then I'm like, if they're anything like Comstar, I enjoy that heat, buddy. If they're anything like Comstar, that means they're going to have six mechs per lance. So at four skulls, if they got like a mix of medium and heavies, let's say they start off with two lances and maybe get one lance for reinforcement, we're facing 18 guys. And we've got, we can field 10 right now. So I don't know if I'm like up for that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you, because if I think if we bring some mechs forward, like we got the storm crow, right? That we need to outfit. We can drop a thirty-five or thirty tonner, like one of the kit foxes. And then I think we've got a nova there, which is a fifty tonner. We can bring that forward and then drop one of the other guys. I made a whole bunch of sea bills on an offline place. So we're sitting in about four million sea bills right now. Or no, maybe we dropped some because um, I think we're down a bit now because we went through a, a financial report. Give a shit about the toady. I want to get the uh, there it is, Kintaro. I want to get some salvage out of this. We got good salvage on this one, it's like five something. So let's see what we can get off these guys if we can bake them. Not that much. I'm receiving you. We can bake them and get a shutdown. Okay, you work on that elemental. Move order. If we bake these guys, get a shutdown, we can take their legs off, get some good salvage. You're missing a leg? Did you... What the hell happened to you? Did you fall over? Did one of the turrets blow his leg off? Whoops. We didn't even get one leg hit. Looks like I only well, maybe we did. I don't know. Just Stand didn't by. look like we did. Full Let's get up here. No target. Yeah, if we can get these kit foxes out of our lineup, it's going to be so much better. I'm here. I mean, they're not bad. They're doing the job. But there's 
right now I think they're kind of with, with, with the gear that we have they're kind of maxed out you know there's not much we can do plus they're omnis so we're, we're limited to what we can do with weapons wise see ya that's a kill did not mean to do that but that's fine waiting on you commander Let's just pot right. shot the Kentaro. Actually, is the ice ferret... Is it 30 tons or 40 tons? It's 30, 30 tons, isn't it? No, it can't be. Maybe it is. I don't know. Let's just shoot him, though. Willing to warm up... Well, we want to warm up on this one or no? Not really. Let's just shoot him. Uh-huh. Although the Kentaro, let's not get shot in the back by the turret. Get into an optimal range here for both the MRMs and the LRMs. Let's shut this guy's ass down. Jesus Christ. How's that heat treating you? we get them all? I think we did. We got a lot of them. Alright. Hopefully these turds don't kill them. Fucking don't kill them. I'm gonna try to take his legs. Oh, well, he got a head hit. That's good to know. Ready for orders. Shit, we got to the ice ferret. Do I try and kill this guy from behind? No, I think we go for this guy's legs. So this leg to start. Let's go with the pinpoint. And... Yep. Engaging. Start. Okay, nice. There's the knockdown. Good leg hit too. Okay, who's up? Yes, Commander. All right, let's see how you do with those medium pulses. Fifty left here. Do a nine per shot. Let's do this. We'll drop some heat. Roger. See if we can get that leg. Ooh, looks like we got it. Okay. Waiting for orders. All right, we're not getting the other guy, so move into a strike distance on this guy and hammer him. Time for the warlord. What's up, buddy? Yeah, so the last mission, as far as gear goes, I'm your spaniel. Uh, we picked up a bunch of head components, which is nice. Um, we got sensor trackers. We've got a range finder, like a 60 range finder, 60 meter range finder. We got what else do we get? Some um, LRM Artemis ammo. We got four tons of that. Um, what else did we get? We got the we got an archer part and the fire starter part, which I just sold. Um, Target confirmed. Shit, that was a torso hit. He's panicking anyway. Uh, what else did we get? We got a couple of other head components. I can't remember what what they were now. But yeah, we got a few things that we could use anyway. Wasn't really anything amazing, but. There was a few, oh yeah, the uh, he didn't have a, a, a Rack 20, I thought the Orion had a Rack, or sorry, a Rack 5, but it was the AC-20 uh, Mydrin that he had, or Myrdrin, whatever it was, that he was hammering us with. And I thought about taking that and some ammo, like the AC-20 ammo, but we've already got that in the other playthrough, so I thought I would just like not bother going for it. 
get into here. See if we can force this guy to bail. Uh, if we do too much, it's going to kill him. Get that pen. I hear you. Now we should be able to get it with this guy. Come on, let's get that leg. 38. Let's go with the lasers. Hopefully we get it. Uh, I don't know. No sweat. Torso, we got a leg hit though. Oh. Okay. Pilot incapacitated. You're dead. Alright, finish this guy up. Come on. Ooh, that's Hydra, I think. Or Mortar, um, incendiaries. Keep them hot. Commander. Keep them hot. Get over here. Confirmed. Yeah, so if we get, you know, if we get a couple of more, like the Storm Crow, uh, I know we got a Nova. I think we might be able to take that, um, that mission against Blake. Like, I... I'm just concerned that if there's like, if it's like three lances of six, and they're all medium and heavy at four skull, like, I know we've been getting weird, um, weird rolls for the, uh, opponents, um, at four skulls, so sometimes you can get good, sometimes you can get, get bad, but I'm finding for like, things like clans and Comstar, anytime missions like, get missions like that, they're pretty stable on relatively having, like, Better max is more difficult max, but the fact that it's 211 salvage leads me to believe they're going to have a fair number of heavy guys. Order. So, 10 versus 18, it's not really favorable uh, odds for us. It's all back shots, eh? But we'll move up a bit, hit him with a couple, and see if he'll bail. See if we can get him to bail. We'll just fire two. Rear armor. Yeah, well, all right, got the engine. Moving on. So, yeah, uh, I want to get your opinion on you? that, because I really don't know what to expect. And if you guys are playing, got it. Uh, and you've no faced Blakest Forces, which I, 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 I don't, I'm not 100% good on um, the lore of uh, Battletech, but like especially past 2050. Because when I was playing, like, tabletop, we were at basically 2050. I think we went to 2054 in our playthrough. And we were fighting the clans and all that. Because 2050 is a clan invasion, right? So, you know, we got kind of that far in our playthroughs, but never really went beyond it. On my way. Um, Timeline-wise, in our timeline. So, the Blakest Forces, Comstar, all that. I know Comstar in the game has got six the mechs. confirmed per lance and I think the Blakest forces are the same so if it is six per lance you know there's a good chance we could fight 18 mechs Acknowledged. and if they get you know it could be 24 all right right and we can only feel 10 right now so no sweat. and if they're all medium and heavy it's just basically a suicide mission right I'm going. unless we get super lucky oh yeah the battles in the city too just so you know it's a city fight, so we could use the buildings to our advantage. I'm just still not 100% convinced that we can pull it off, though. I get you. Um, but let's see what we can put together uh, at the end of this mission, which should come up pretty quick. To position. And then, um, once we have a good idea of what we can put together mech-wise... Um, uh, how far behind are you? All right, let's just get over here. Roger. All right, we're in range now. Copy that, Commander. All right, we're good to go. Yeah, so let me know what you think, because I want to try and pull that off. Well, and it, like it just appeared, so we got it. It's going to be there for about a month, which means after this mission, we've got six days of healing up the pilots, and if we get any internal damage. 
we'll have to do fix that. Let's get into here. I don't know whether they're going to pop out of the buildings or where they're going to show up. Find out in a second. Oh, it's a dropship. Okay. Sight for sore eyes. Well, we're here to liberate you. We are here to conquer, I mean, liberate your base. Uh, let's just move up. Oh, these guys are pretty light. Okay. Location confirmed. I was hoping for more of a two and a half skull, but whatever. Right, Commander. Could have pulled this off with a light lance. I'm your spaniel. But no biggie. Alright, let's hope for some good salvage. What's this guy? Shadowhawk. Eh. Salamander Toad. Pegasus. Bazuzu. Stinger garbage, really. Good to go. Well, copy that. Let's get started. You got a lot of weapons, and generally copters are bad news, so let's go after you to start. Warlord this firing PPC hit, that's all we need. That's all we need. Enemy vehicle destroyed. But regardless, if I do take that Blakist mission. I'm probably going to outfit the next, um, the next generation of, uh, or the next set of, uh, mechs with a lot of energy and ballistic weapons, as opposed to missile, just so that we can last a lot longer in the fight. Uh, we want to throw our tandems on, he's got two ERM, LRM-10s. Yeah, let's go for early damage. Why not? Sensors locked on. Tandems do a little better against uh, vehicles, so let's go out. Let's go with everything. Locking on target. All right, not bad. Short range missile. He goes on 13 too, so, and these guys are useless. Commander. I gotta go and see, check my options to see if there's a way to remove the elementals from the game. Because at this point, them spawning in is just a nuisance for me. There's been a few matches where they show up off the map, and then they just don't move, they just sit there the whole time. So then I gotta go hunt them down afterwards. So, they're just more of a nuisance than anything at this point. Engaging target. Like, for crying out loud, the Stinger's probably going to do more damage in this battle than those Elementals will. That is probably the last shot you're going to get off. Just saying. Thank you for dropping your... Go control bursts. There we go. Thank you for dropping your uh, evasion for us. Appreciate it. Oh, LBX ten. I hear you. Let's go in the vehicle. Let's go on the vehicle. LRM's up and running. Warlord, see if we can take this Pegasus out. Tell me what to shoot. Depend. There it is. And we send that vehicle in the middle of next week. Knocked out a vehicle. Yeah, you can pick. The, oh, he's falling back to the ground. I was going to say you can pick up the uh, the chassis floating in space. Yeah, see, the Stinger's going to do more damage than the uh, Standing by. the elementals are. Uh, now what the deck on the uh, Shadowhawk here? I was gonna leave it to the uh, Vulture, but if we can get the Shadowhawk this turn. We might as well give it a shot. Oh man, there's some pain for you. Critical hit, Commander. Oh, that's the other turrets from the other base. Nice. I laughed they knocked him out. Oh, 
There's the knockdown. And he bailed. Beautiful. So he's got a royal yeah, heat sink kit in there. I think that comes standard. I don't think you can actually take that out of there. Coordinates received. It'd be nice if we could, though. Yo, uh, sup? Hostile removed. No, hostile deleted. I'm ready. Delete. I'm going. Still one of the best lines. <laughs> Still one of the best lines from Scott Pilgrim versus the World, where he's on the computer and he's like, "Dude, I got email." Yeah, dude. Now I'm reading it. It's like, oh great. And then you, he's reading the email, and it's like, you know, it's come to our attention that you're Ready to get it interested off. in, you know, so and so. And then it's just like, um, there's going to be a battle to the death. And he's like, as he's reading, it's like, this is, this is boring. Oh, delete. E and he just deletes the email. <laughs> it's a death threat. He just deletes it. He's just not even bothering reading it because he's just high on happiness at the at that moment. If you've never seen Scott Program Word First the World, it's definitely worth a watch. The thing is absolutely hilarious. Brilliant writing, brilliant editing. The whole film is just just a joy to watch from beginning to end. And the best part, of, well, I don't say the best part about it. One of the good parts about it is Brian Lee O'Malley, the guy who created the actual. Um, Yes, Commander. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, who created the uh, the um, graphic Maybe novel um, that the film was based on. He was actually a roommate of my brother-in-law's when they were going to uh, school at uh, OCAD in Toronto. And uh, let's try for the leg. There we go. Anyway, um, the uh, first guy that Scott Pilgrim f faces, Matthew Patel, is loosely based on my brother-in-law. <laughs> you can kind of see it when you look when you when you're watching Matthew Patel and doing stuff. You can kind of see it, but you know he's there a little bit. If you know my brother-in-law, like obviously no one knows my brother-in-law, but if if you knew my brother-in-law, you'd you'd get an idea of what I was talking about. Like he, it's it's just there. All right, Pazuzu's got what? Okay, not bad armor. Couple of micro lasers, pulse lasers, heavy and light machine guns. Eh. The full shadow hawk. So this is a royal hawk, right? <sighs> yeah, I don't think we go the shadow hawk route. I, I really want to stay with Omni Mex. I really want to stay with Omni. So Clan AMS. Got three of these. Uh, ER mediums. We've only got one ER medium laser, really. Really. Because I was thinking, like, build, like doing like an ER medium build on the Nova. So we wouldn't really be able to do it if we don't have any ER mediums. Okay, LBX two, no big deal. LRM tens. We've got a couple of those. Clan medium pulses. Thinking for builds for the mechs that we've got coming up. What are we going to need? Don't need Clan Endo since it's already built in. Any fire control systems that are any good? No, nothing that's better than what we already have. Pharaoh Clan, I'll grab one. Regular heat sinks. Got 12. Omnipod lower arms. How many do we have? We got one. Let's grab one other one. Because if we are going to build the laser build, AMS ammo, do we have AMS ammo? We do. LBX2, cluster, and slug. We don't have any LBX ammo. I think we have an LBX2. So I, actually, I'm thinking about taking the two mediums and the two pulses. But what's the LBX2? What's the weight on this? Six tons? Four tons? For 25 damage, though. It's. I mean, it's good for a long-range build, but I think for a close-in close in brawler, it's not going to work. So let's grab the two medium pulse lasers. Let's grab the two medium lasers. I mean, yeah, it's not the best, but I'm thinking for the 
for the builds for the mechs that we're going to build coming up here. Pharaoh, let's just put Pharaoh on both the two, the two mechs. Lower arm is going to increase accuracy with all these weapons. So yeah, I think we go that route see what we get. Got another toad part, ice ferret part. Oh, so they're 45 tons. Okay. It's not bad. Pegasus 2C. What's the armor on this? That's respectable for 40... What is it? 40... 35 tons. That's actually not that bad. Pair of LRM-10s, pair of ER smalls. Okay. Much more toady parts, Shadowhawk parts, Stinger part. I can sell those. These guys can go... Heavy machine guns. We got five heavy machine guns. Damage three times three. We want to do it like a heavy machine gun build on somebody? Yeah, no, nah, I don't think so. Magna lasers. Okay, these aren't bad. Half decent range. A little more heat than normal, but better damage. Small laser. Yeah, we got ER smalls that can go. Inner sphere can go. Um, yeah, we can get rid of that. The endo we don't need. Don't need the 105 core. Standard, uh, we don't need that because we have better fire control systems. The heat sink will hang on to. We can lose the jump jets. Standard cooling, we can lose you, we can lose you. So we made a little bit of sea bills. We got 3.2 million right now. So we should be able to put some stuff together. All right, let's have a quick look in the mech bay here. Uh, just so you know, too, I was just thinking as we were loading in here, here that if we do take that mission, we could just see what we're up against. And if it is really, really nasty, we could just bail on the mission. I hate to say that. We don't have a Nova. I don't know, man. We got a Talos. Um... Hellbringer C. Let's bring this guy forward. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Let's see what it's got on it. Um, we got two parts of a Nova. Maybe I'll go fishing really quickly and see if I can get one after I sign off today. I don't know if I'm going to have time. I might try it tomorrow then if I got time after I record for the next episode. I don't know. We got nothing down there, so... I don't know, man. It's going to be iffy. Like, we could bring the Talos forward. This is what? Um... Knock off ECM. Doesn't say what it's got weapon wise though. Torian Defense Force. So this is a pretty damn old Mac. Auto Cannon 10, 2 LRM 5s, SRM 6. So one ballistic, three missile hard points. It's just not going to give us... This has got two ballistic, three laser, and four missile hard points. So that's better. That's the Omni version. Tell you what. This is what? The pirate version? So let's take... Let's ready this as well. And we'll take the B. We'll leave... I think, I'm not sure if this is a pirate version or not. We'll leave the pirate version there. We'll take this one. Confirm it. Let's just have a look and see what it's got. Because if it is an Omni version, then... And it's got a core and everything already built in. Then I don't mind using it. I mean, it's not technically a clan mech, but I don't mind using it. So the Hellbringer, let's have a look at the refit on this guy. Interested to see what's left over. We lost an arm, unfortunately. Yeah, LBX ammo, a couple of ER mediums. ER large. Okay, that's good. So that's going to be 13 days and 600,000. We max out the armor first. We got we always got to max out the armor. 
So it's a, that's a lot more. Let's do it. Like a, wow, it's 26 days. That mission's going to be gone by the time this guy's ready. Let's get it going. We got to, I mean, we got to get heavier wow. mechs going anyway in this playthrough. Shouldn't be too hard. Like, I'm having a difficulty moving up in difficulty because we just don't have the, uh, like, it's the two Kit Foxes. I think if we lost both of those, the Adder, I mean, we can re, we can reload this out too, or get rid of the MRMs off it maybe. Reload it out or something, I don't know. But it's still, like, an Adder and the Cougar still lower weight classes right still lower weight looks like we got a lot left on this guy thumper cannon this guy had a thumper laser and oh this is a is this a pirate build it was a pirate build and it is built in so that's really nice that's like super cheap to fix prototype double heat sinks it kept the uh, Pirate prototype double heatsink kit, though. Contraband fire control system. So this isn't that bad. We could actually go with a uh, ballistic loadout in this guy. Take the thumper out of here. Yeah, so if we go with a ballistic loadout, it might work. Or we could go, we could turn it into an artillery mech, and that might actually help with support. It's got spiked armor built in. Take that out. Um, let's leave that for now. So, pirate ECM, hot seat cockpit, bonus for walking, bolt on rocket times two. It's a double shot rocket launcher, four tons. It's got 10 tons available. I guess because it's got a reinforced chassis? Is that why? Usually you need to have like... Where would that come from? Normally you need kind of triple strength my arm, like TSMs or um, industrial TSM armor to double your weight because normally it's like because this is a 50 ton mech that should only be 5 tons. Maybe it is the reinforced here. 50% structure points. This thing is slow, so we would need to give it a good ranged weapon. Like, we could go with a Gauss rifle. I don't think I have any Gauss ammo, though. We do have some Gauss ammo. Ooh, we could go with a Gauss build on this thing. If it's slower, we could build a range build. Put a bolt on AMS on this thing. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But I'm going to end the episode here. It's already gone long enough. I'm going to validate this and get it going. All right. Let me know. Let me let, let me know down in the comment section what you think we should do for loadouts for both the Hellbringer and the Talos. I think we remove the two Kit Foxes and bring these two guys forward. The the Grendel. I think we changed the loadout slightly on that thing. We need range on it. If it's gonna, if we're gonna be engaging a lot of max, we're gonna need range on that thing. And then I think we may, may need to bring some vehicles forward. I think I can field three vehicles, so we could have eleven units on the field. I do have a pilot for it too. This thing actually looks pretty cool looking. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time. We'll see you later.